Welcome everyone to Fabrengen, good yontif, good yontif. First of all, I want to thank our sponsors, Dr. and Mrs. Chaim and Bait Leah Cohen, and Rabbi Yosef and Sarah Leah Morvich, and Yassin Shoshana Reber, for not just uh, sponsoring the event, but Yassin Shoshana and Daniela and Shmuley, who by the way are celebrating their anniversary today. Many happy returns to the day. And uh, also Pesach and Leah Bela for also working very hard, especially they're working in the front now and uh Pesach. And I really appreciate your uh, making this possible. It's a tremendous tremendous to be here and to participate in the Simcha. When the Friedrich Rebbe left Europe and Chassidim were afraid that they would lose their connection. The Friedrich Rebbe is traveling to America. The Friedrich Rebbe said, The Yam is Yam Amatsik is Yam Machabe. The ocean doesn't divide us, the ocean connects us. It's not, it's not an ocean that can separate us, it will, it will connect us. S- similarly, in the Hayom Yom today, I just want to read a short teaching that the Rebbe said we should study today, Yubeis Tamus. The, the Rebbe brings a letter from the Friedrich Rebbe about what we're supposed to be doing tonight. In these two days, writes the Friedrich Rebbe, the days of Yudbeis and Yagimo Tamus, Chassidim should fabrank for goodness and for blessing, both materially and spiritually. The way that this was instituted from our Avinu Harishan, from our first father, from the Alter Rebbe, in this fabrengen, Chassidim should talk together and sit like in brotherhood to strengthen the times of studying Torah. And I am sending my bracha that God should shine his face upon them both materially and spiritually. In the second letter, on the Yom Yom of Yigimel Tamus, the previous Hebrew writes, I am sending a discourse as a, particip- as a participation with my friends, the Chsidim, wherever they live for success. To be together with you in your fair bringing, when you strengthen yourselves in the paths of Chassidus, and when you strengthen yourself in keeping and setting up times to study Chassidus, and to be inspired and to inspire yourself and to fulfill what you're learning, may our God and the God of our fathers bless all Chassidim, they, their household, their children and grandchildren among all the Jewish people. May God bless you all in all good things, both materially and spiritually. This is the bracha, just by being here in the Fabrengen, 
that we receive from the Friedrich Rebbe, who says that he's not separate. He's, he, he comes to the Fabring and he, and he, and he elicits Rachmim Rabbim, great mercy from Hashem, for each of us just by being here by the Fabring. There was once a Chassid, Rabbi Moshe Veshetsky, when he left Russia, the Rebbe said to him that he wants him to Fabring, he wants him to teach the yeshiva students the Kal Vachomer. What is the Kal Vachomer? In Allah and Jewish law, in Torah interpretation, there are many different mechanisms, if you will, how to interpret Torah. One of them is called Kal Vachomer. Kal Vachomer means that if A is true, B is certainly true. If I am able to touch the roof, then someone taller than me certainly could touch the roof. So the Rebbe said that Ramesh Veshetsky, when he left Russia, you should teach Chsim Kal Vachomer. What does Kal Vachomer mean? Very simply, the Friedrich Rebbe, when he was making an effort to spread Torah and Yiddishkeit in the hardest circumstances, once gathered together nine of, uh, nine of his Hasidim, and he said to them, I'm making a covenant with you, that you should be ready to give away your last drop of blood to spread Torah and Yiddishkeit. And that was what was necessary at that time, they had to have literal, practical, physical sacrifice in order to be able to get the job done. And miracle of miracles, today, Yud Be'ez Tammuz, the Friedrich Rebbe left imprisonment, and as the Friedrich Rebbe said clearly, not only did God redeem me, He redeemed every single Jew who loves Tera, every Jew who keeps mitzvahs, and even people which are just nicknamed Jews, all of us, we, get, we, we receive redemption today. What does redemption mean? Freedom, redemption, what word comes to mind? Redemption means, the Friedrich Rebbe is telling us, today is the day that you're able to reveal who you are and what you are. To be the person you're proud of. Today is the day of Geula, we're empowered today to bring out in ourselves our deepest self. To have a real Geula means that you're able to express who we are and what we are. That's, that's the day of Geula. So this is through the sacrifice of the Friedrich Rebbe and the Chassidim in Russia, that elicited the tremendous miracle of Yubayz and Gimel Tamos, which brought exponential growth to Tayyar and Yiddishkeit throughout the world and, the, and gives light every year in a greater way than the year before, Maila Makhaydish every year in an ascending way. So if it's true that their mysterious Nefesh then was able to cause such success in a miraculous way, how much more so Kalva Chomer, how much more so us, which we don't have the physical challenges that they had then, how much more so that it's a Gitzach Eber, that if we Fabrain together, and we make the good decisions, decisions together by the Fabrain, to add in Torah, to add in Tefillah, to add in Staka, to spread Torah, with an Emes, it's certain, it's certain that it says today, Mazali David says, the birthday is Rebbe, Rebbe, it's, a, it's a obvious, it's 100% certain, making a decision today to add in something, the Rebbe says it's guaranteed that you're going to be successful. So let's make, let's Fabrain, let's inspire each other, let's listen carefully, let's listen with an open heart to our guest speaker who many of us know. Rabbi Wilhelm runs online smicha. Throughout the world, people want to learn the laws of Yeridea and all parts of Shachonarach turn to Rabbi Wilhelm's smicha program online to, uh, to study and achieve excellence in Torah study. Some of us sitting at the Fabrengen, Yuda Yaron, who is Mirtish and tomorrow celebrating his son's chasna. Mike is here also. Hey, chasna. Baruch Hashem. Kami Dave, your chasna to Fabrengen. It's fantastic. Anyway, so Rabbi, Will, Rabbi Wilhelm, in, in, many of us here have studied from him. Rabbi Reber, a, a lot of Jews over here have studied from Rabbi Wilhelm. We're really excited he's able to be here and inspire us. Let's give him our undivided attention. Before we do, let's quickly say it, the Rebbe's capital, as for Abraham Hashem, be successful for Brengen, and sing the Nigan of, of Padre Shalom. It would be a pleasure to be with him. Okay. We're going to sing, say the Rebbe's capital and then we'll sing the Nick and the Free Crab the Bain. Hallelujah. Es Adinoi. Kol Goyim. Shabchu.
כל האומים, כי גובר עלינו חסדי ואמס אדינוי לעולם הלויה. announcements before we hear from Rabbi Wilhelm. Number one, Rabbi Wilhelm has some svarim over here uh, which are available for purchase. There's no exact number of what the purchase is, but it's Kiyad Hashem Mateva Olav Kfi Nidus Liba Matayr is amazing, amazing Torah scholar and has tremendous svarim. I also want to announce good news. Many of us in the shul 
heard from Yonatan Hamburger about a Jew in Cambodia who needs to have Yeshua. And Baruch Hashem, the good news just came in last night on Yubay's Tammuz, that this Jew was incarcerated illegally, immorally. As Baruch Hashem, they finally gave the good news, so thank God he's going to be freed. Just like the Friedrich got his good news, so this Jew got the same good news today on Yubay's Tammuz. So it's not just, and, all, and a lot of Jews here are to help financially for his release. There should be a bracha for him and for all of us. Amen. There used to be uh, a chassid in uh, Montreal. There used to be a chassid in Montreal, Rabbi Galitsky. I don't know if anybody knows him. He used to say, he used to say, Rabbi Sai, That was it. Zuk Tlachayim. Uh, uh, you hear me now? He used to say, he had a Polish Yiddish. He used to say, Zuk Tlachayim, Verts Nusayr. By him, it was like a switch. Say Lachayim, get aroused. And, uh, for me, it doesn't work. When I hear uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Levin read uh, Yoyim Yoyim, I, I, I consider myself a very simple person. I, need, I, I read the instructions. I need to read the instructions for everything. And I... Uh, And that's why I enjoy Shulchan Aruch a lot because I have to I have to know exactly what has to be done for every 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 day that, every moment of the day I want to know exactly what has to be done. So uh, to, te- to tell a person sit down and for bring, you just told me the Rebbe gave a bracha we should sit down and for bring. It reminds me of Rabbi Galitsky, Zuk Tzlachaim and Veritz Nesayir. What's the for it all about? The, the Hasidim used to say a very powerful word. The Hasidim used to say that a fabrain amongst Hasidim is a very, very much needed thing. Every mitzvah that we are told, every mitzvah that a yid does is like adding another brick to the building of Beis Hamikdash. But when you build a, uh, uh, you build a building, if you pi- pile brick upon brick, one upon a, one, one on top of another, you need this, the glue, you need the cement to make it stick. To the building, the mitzvahs are the building are the bricks one upon the, one one on top of the other. The fabrengen is the glue, is what makes this thing stick. But, but but realistically, what is it making it stick? What is the fabrengen that makes it stick? So let's sit down now, while well, sitting, and let's see what what is this you base Thomas Fabrengen, what's gonna make it stick? Because I have a basic a basic down to earth question about this you base Thomas Fabrengen. And it actually started, I was two days ago, Shabbos in, the, in Minnesota, my hometown, and we had a, our, your base, our Shabbos for bring for your base Thomas, and I started the question there. And the question I had was, this is much, much different than any, any other Yom Tiv that we celebrate. We celebrate Pesach, it's pretty simple. The Torah tells us, the Yidin War in Mitzrayim, there was a pare. There was a wicked pare. We have a whole, we read Parshas Boy. We read Parshas Shemois. We, we we understand what took place. Okay, we have a rest and a liberation. We have they have even in English the story of the free the Rebbe, everything that took place. But we also know what we have to do to celebrate Yitzchus Mitzrayim. There are so many mitzvahs that we celebrate when we come out. We celebrate the mitzvah of Pesach. We eat matzah. We do Zechira Sitzius Mitzrayim. We say parts of Kriya Shema. We do things. To say sit down and make a Fabrengen, tell me. Tell me how do you celebrate it? How do you celebrate you based Tammuz? Pesach, I know how you celebrate. Let's move on. Sukkot. Sukkot, I, 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 I see. We were in the Midbar. We traveled from place to place. Hashem gave us, uh, uh, kept us uh, protected. So Hashem says, you know what? 
be, be grateful, be, th be thankful. When you sit outside, I want you to sit that during that period of time or a different period of time but with, 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 uh, with the sukkah. Fine. So he gives, us, he gives us instructions. He gives us instructions how to do something. Where are the instructions of, of, of Yud Beis Tammuz? Where are, this, where are the Hasidic instructions? You know, this is the type of question that Shleima Amelech really asked. There's a question, Shleim, what is this happiness all about? What are we celebrating? Not what. I, I understand why, why we're celebrating. The Friedrich Rebbe was in the worst of places. They were taking, take, took him away in a in terrible situation. I think it's even brought in one of the sikhs from the Rebbe. That in the Pailash Svarim, it says that Tammuz, the, the, the name of the month Tammuz, I think it's even mentioned once in one of the Sikhs in the Rebbe. Huh? That is a Russia Tavis. Zman Shuva Mamash Mashuba. That's, you know, we think it's summertime, everybody goes to camp, where everybody's in the pools, but it, it, it's a Russia Tavis. The four letters Zman Shuva. Mamash Meshuba. It's getting close to the Chuva time. Tammuz, Zman Chuva Mamash Meshuba. Next month, Av. Av is Elul Ba. Elul's around the corner. corner. Elul? <laughs> you don't need a, a reminder what Elul is. And before you turn around, it's Rosh Hashanah. What do you, what, what's Rosh Hashanah? I'm sure you have one of those here. And at Rosh Hashanah, every second. Paragraph of Rosh Hashanah is Uvechain, Tain Kavay, Uvechain, Uvechain is, and therefore, what's, what's the bottom line? What's the bottom line? All this davening, all this learning, how, how are you going to behave? By us, the Hetchliach of Minnesota is Rabbi Moshe Feller, I'm sure you've heard of him. Uh, Moshe Feller has one of his famous stories. That made him famous in Lubavitch, if I may so may say so, is one time he's uh, he did a, a function with a, a large group of Mavrit. They they uh, he put on something like 250 pairs of tefillin with people. I think even the Rebbe paid for many people there to have tefillin, and he was so excited. We're talking about 50 years ago. He was so excited. And he called the Rebbe on the phone. I think the Rebbe got onto the phone to tell the Rebbe the excitement. I'm so happy with what I did. And the Rebbe responded on the phone to tell Rabbi Feller that on the phone, Vos Zion Morgan, and what's going to be with these people tomorrow? Here he's so excited. I got 250 people, not in Los Angeles, 250 people in, in St. Paul, Minnesota to put on film. And that's, that's a honey rab. That's a... a, a a mega amount of people to put on tefillin. And the Rebbe responds, Um vos Zion Morgan, what's going to be tomorrow? By the Rebbe was, what's the uvechein? What's the tomorrow? So what are we sitting here? What are we celebrating? What's, the, what's, the, what's this all about? Where is the matzah? Where is the sukkah? Dr. Ganji, I, I, I noticed you. So I want to start off by reading a fascinating Rishima from the Rebbe. A fascinating Rishima from the Rebbe. This is a Rishima. It has a fascinating story. The Rebbe tells, the Rebbe says this story that I, I, I told to the free, I said to the free the Rebbe, that it, somebody told me, and, and it, it turns out that people believe that nobody told the Rebbe, nobody told this to Rebbe. The Rebbe was saying this as if somebody told him. The Rebbe was saying this to the Friedrich Rebbe. Somebody told me that we look, he would look through the, the, the Rebbe Rashab's Maimorim, the, the Hasidic discourses of the Rebbe Rashab, and a very strange phenomenon he found in the discourses of the, Friedrich, of the Rebbe Rashab. Is it raining or what is it? Here in LA, does lift it. You find something very strange in the Hasidic discourses of the Rebbe Rashab. You know, every every five, six, ten pages, there's a there is a new mimer, but every mimer of the Rebbe Rashab finishes off with the word chulu, 
Kulu means to be continued. I thought the topic is over. A mimer starts and finishes. So, so the Rebbe tells this to the Friedrich Rebbe. Siparti, I'm, I'm quoting the words, it's Kaisish Kedoshim. Siparti, I told the Friedrich Rebbe, Shiesh Medaktigim. There are those that were very, they noticed, Shakol Maimore Admor Nishmasa Eden, every mimer of the Rebbe Rashab, Miss Simon finished off with the word Vachulu. Amar Kwek Dushas, and my father in law responded to me, and he said, I'll tell you a story. There is a story, a sipper or a pisgum or a statement from the Rebbe Barash or from the Tzemach Tzedek. And the story was like this. That one time that the Tzemach Tzedek gave a mimer of his to the people to, to copy. And at the end of the mimer, the, the Tzemach Tzedek wrote a mimer and he gave it to the people to copy. And at the end of the mimer, it said the word selik. The word, not in English, obviously. And the word selik means could, has many interpretations. Selik means end, finish. Selik means also go. So the tzemach tzedek. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. The, 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 the tzemach tzedek gave the mimer to the person to copy. The Tzemach gave the person the uh, Maimah, sorry, that was a bad mistake. The Tzemach gave the person the Maimah to copy and finish. The person who copied it was smart enough to, to copy the Maimah, and he wrote at the end, finish, Selik, I finished it. The Maitik wrote, Selik, I finished it. So the Tzemach responded to this, he says, by him, the topic is over. By me, it's still going and going. In the words of the Tzemach Tzedek, at Tzeloi, by him, Kvar Tzolik, it's done. Petach, Petach means full, as I in an often Sharei Chachma. The, 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 sh- the gates of wisdom are open and open. Which means to say, the Chulu, the ongoing, the lessons, the, the share chachma, the wisdoms of chachma, what the rabbeim give us, aren't temporary. Isn't a one-time blast? Isn't ha- something that happened, as Rabbi Levin said, 90 or 91 years ago? It's obviously something that we have to learn from, and we're not something. We're not celebrating something that happened 90, 90 91 years ago, or zecher litzias mitzrayim. It's something that we have to learn now. So I made a copy. It bothered me. This question really bothered me a lot. Where is there instructions for me to behave? For me to behave today, I want to. I want to, I made a copy of the letter that the free of the Kiva wrote, and you heard bits and pieces of this letter. You heard bit, only bits and pieces of this letter from the Rebbe. When the Rebbe quotes, and and even those bits and pieces, you could write pilpulim and pilpulim about those bits and pieces. When the free the Kedeva writes uh, a letter about this holiday and to who he addresses the letter, it's actually about 20, I wrote over here, uh, it's a long letter. It's a, it's a long letter, it's about 20 pages, uh, 20 paragraphs, but only a couple of them become famous. The famous one is he addresses it to all those who are even nicknamed Jews. That's the famous one that we that is quoted. But there are many other details here. Many other details that, that should be quoted. One second. Please. That would be pretty nice. If, oh, here it is. There are actually 14, 15 paragraphs to the to this letter, and nobody nobody stresses it because we we only stress the ones that is famous. The letter is addressed El Yedidenu. This is a letter that ever the free that ever writes once he's freed, telling us why we should celebrate this. So maybe it will shed some light what what this is all about, and now we'll know what's in the gate to me and you. 
El Yedideinu Anash to all the Lubavitcher Hasidim. Okay. Whoever is Lubavitcher celebrates my Rebbe. Bel Kol Mechavavay Torah for those who study Torah, those who love Torah. Incidentally, the Rebbe, the Friedrich Rebbe has a sicha somewhere else that says that there's a pasuk that we know, a uh, very famous pasuk. There is a difference between those who study Torah and those who love Torah. Those who study Torah is one thing. You could go to, to college and study Torah also. That doesn't mean you love Torah. Those who love Torah, love, love Torah, they study it over time. They make it part of your life. It becomes part and parcel of who you are. It's a different league. Those who are Oisik with Torah, Oyev Torah, it's a different, a different league. So Mechavavei Torah, Loimdel, those who study it, Oiskel, Bechol Asar Vasar. Okay. Then in the second paragraph, Hakol Yoidin Baru, Everybody knows clear as day. Listen. Asher Hamay Serva Hagalus, that the reason I was put in prison, Bali, Bali was brought upon me, Al Yideyam Tsanus, Hal Shonas, Achenu, Seinenu, Menadenu. It was put upon me, not by strangers, not by Goyim, was put upon me among, from our own brothers, our own enemies. What was their issue with me? Hanoikmin b'shoimrei das Moshe v'Yisrael. Put people who hated Jewish religion, not not Yiddish, not Hasidus, not Meshachistim, anti-Meshachistim, not Chabad, anti-Chabad. People who hated Yiddishkeit. Neged chukei hamedina v'ashulten. They went against. They went to the Russians, speaking against Yiddishkeit. Okay, okay, so you see now, clear, tattletailing uh, to the free, against the free of the Karebbe was nothing about Chabad. It has nothing to do to Chabad. It has to do trying to get rid of Yiddishkeit in Russia. Ha'anoshim ha'ela, these people who spoke to the government, lo'yochu se'es, they couldn't tolerate. Esaparacha sheshanas yakov. They couldn't po- tolerate the flourishing of the Jewish star, Bar Batzas Torah, the spreading of Torah, I was spreading Torah. I wasn't spreading Chabad. I was spreading Torah. And they couldn't tolerate Yiddishkeit. Asher al Kain, Badul Alila Shogla Dachyani. Therefore, they, 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 they fantasized, they fabricated Baba Mises to uproot me. The imza chas v'sholim, and with that, God forbid, they had intentions lasis kolah bebeis yakoyim. They wanted to uproot, God forbid, Yiddishkeit. Again, he stresses not not chabad. Nowhere in this letter he says they had in 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 the Alter Rebbe's times. The Alter Rebbe was the issue against Hasidus. In the in the Alter Rebbe, it was an issue against Hasidus. This is the people were against Yiddishkeit. If God forbid anything negative happened to the Friedrich Rebbe in Russia, there was no Yiddishkeit in Russia anymore. Chaste Hashem ki samnu. God, the help of God. Hashem had pity, and the merit of my fathers. In the second, in the twelfth day of Chodesh Tammuz, and this and this day, and here comes the famous phrase. It wasn't only me that Hashem redeemed. Ki im goal. This is the, this is my punchline. Hashem redeemed. Ki im gam. Sorry. Ki im gam. As kol mechavavei Torah seino akdoisha. Anybody who loves Torah, no mention of chabad. Anybody who shoyim re mitzvah. Anybody who keeps mitzvah. Begam asher b'shem Yisrael yechuna. Anybody. Who just has a nickname of a Jew? You have. You are part of this celebration. Ki kol ish mi Yisrael, any Jewish person in parentheses, me bli his chashev in matzovei haprati. No matter at what level you are in, b'shmiras v'kiyom mitzvus, at whatever level you are keeping mitzvus, levavoi tamim im Hashem v'tayrosay. 
In, rea- in truth, you are complete with Ha'ibishter, and you should know the celebration is with you. Hayoyim Shnei Master L'Chaydash Tammuz, this 12th day of Tammuz, Hu Yoyim Chag Geulas Oiske Harbatzas Teiro. This is a day of celebration of, of spreading Teiro. Not, ha- not Hasidus, not nothing. This is a day of spreading Teiro. Why? Ki Bayoyim Ahu, because this day, Noida Goloi Le'en Koel, it was revealed to all. This work that I did to spread religion, not Yiddishkeit. This that I was doing to spread religion, the, 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 the Goyish law, the, the Russian government allows spreading religion. It's freedom of religion. Do you hear what that Friedrich could ever just said? Jewish people should should celebrate with me because I fought your war. I sat in prison. I want to tell you something off off the record, uh, way out of way out of line. And for those who learn by, with me or by me, they know that I, I go off in tangents sometimes. I'm going to do it now. Uh, I once saw a shot. I once saw a shot. That really hurt me, and you you might like this. I once saw a shot that I think this is completely different than what Hasidus thinks. I once saw. Uh, why is it? And we have some famous maskilim. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, maskilim in good ways. Let's see if he'll agree with this. Why is it that somebody? Uh, when he is about to get a, a punch in his face, he protects himself with his hands. I don't get it. Your face is your body, and your hand is your body. Why are you willing to take a shot in your hand and hurt your hand, and and not and not take the, the the punch in your face? It's the same body. So you're willing to take the zets in the hand, but you're not willing to take. All right. So everybody can give this, uh, your own answer. So this great Chacham said, aha, this great Chacham said, aha, this is the difference between, this is the halacha, that's why the Talmid Chachamim are the face, and the Amei Aratzim, the simple people, are the hands and the lower parts of the body. And therefore, the Amei Aratzim and the simple people of the body, the simple people, the Yiddish, the non-learned people, are always meant to take the shots. They have to take the shots for the Talmud Chachamim, for the learned people. And when I saw that, it irked me. The Friedrich Rebbe took the shots for us. If you read what's going on, what, what, how many zetzen, if you read how the Friedrich Rebbe writes the pain he suffered, he got a zetz in his stomach, he says he heard, he heard him for months later for the clap he got, for the punch he took. The free the Kedavah, the head, got, took the punch for the toes, for me. And this Chacham is telling me that we, we have to take the punches for the Chachamim. It hurt me so much when I saw that Dvar Tariya. The free the Kedavah is sitting there in Russia, in prison. He's taking zets after zets for us. That's the difference between a, a, a Hasidic look and a non-Hasidic look. So the free to get ever says that we have to celebrate with him, not because we, him, because he, he did it for us. So there's two parts, there's two points of this celebration. One second, should we sing? Yeah. You're doing good, you're doing good. I'm doing good. So this letter teaches me two things. Number one, it teaches me That we're celebrating it. It's a freedom of religion. If not for the free that you're ever doing this, Yiddishkeit would have been in trouble. In Russia, for sure. And the free that ever says, and therefore, if you, if you, I have an uncle, 
I have an uncle. Somebody just told me this story. I don't, some of you might be related to him. I think you have a stickle relationship to him. My uncle's Rabbi Yossel Rosenfeld. Somebody told me that uh, th he was davening a show with him this past test other. And, uh, and uh, the chazan's uh, davening a show. Comes test other. And uh, my uncle gives a cut. My uncle is not a young man. I think this young gentleman might know him, Rabbi Yossel Rosenfeld. And uh, my uncle says, no tachnun. My uncle's in the uh, mid 80s. Why test? It doesn't say, I yoim yoim or safe man hug if you don't do tachnun. So my uncle says, what do you mean? Uh, he says, I'm not saying tachnun. He says, why are you not saying tachnun? He says, I am an American boy. My uncle, by the way, is no, is no slouch. My uncle runs this probably the biggest Lubavitch in, 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 in the world. He is the administrator of Oli Terra. So I mean, I'm saying he's a Hasidic year. So he says, I'm an American boy. He comes from a Hasidic Garamish to America. I don't know if I would be wearing film today. I don't know playing the same strategy of this game as he spread Yiddishkeit in, the, in Russia. The same strategy he did when he came.